guys huge low bun um and it's messy all i did was i was supposed to be um hold on this is my hair from yesterday and i got lazy did two flat two, not two two twists and all i did was just pull this back in a low bun Yeah, she is serving you messy soccer mom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I wheeze because I have asthma. It is Tuesday and I am oh, I'm about to fix me some breakfast. Just like some um, waffles, Eggo waffles. I know not good for you. And some strawberries because I have an appointment later on this morning with the nurse at my surgeon's office. Because you guys, I need to turn that volume off my phone. I'm getting some discoloration on my breasts. Those of you who don't know, I had a breast reduction in May of this year. I went from a triple D, sometimes double E, depending on the brand and um, the brand of the bra, to a full C. Amen, girl, 38 full C. And so, uh, what's the point? You know what's so funny is that my minimizers are apparently so well that people who who see me like my girlfriend who saw me yesterday she's like you look really good you've lost a lot of weight and i said girl it was my titty i got a breast reduction she's like really she's like you've lost it makes me look so much smaller even when i went back home and i had one <laughs> i had one aunt who just kept looking at me and finally i let her know i whispered to her to the side she's like Vib. That's what it is. They call me Vib back home. She's like, Vib, I've been looking at you, child. Yo, your breasts are gone. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, um, I got some rice over here boiling. I need to hold show because my husband's asleep. So, um, what's the point? I've been getting discoloration, which, you know, from my Google research and looking at some other women, it's, it's common or not uncommon, I should say. Like I said, it's Tuesday. I'm trying to cook my husband some lunch today because he ain't getting lunch tomorrow for work. He ain't getting lunch tomorrow. Um, so I'm just gonna whipped up, whip up something, um, some wild rice. I have some black rice in there too that I've had in there for a couple of weeks and I'm too afraid to try it. Has anyone tried black rice? Wild rice includes brown, well, the wild rice mixture I has, have includes black rice, but this is like, pure black rice um I'm, I'm gonna wait till i have some time to make that so i can experiment so y'all i've been i've been back to eating carbs not to say i had reduced i, I mean i had completely stopped but i had reduced it but my thing now is coconut rice when i tell you that it's some good eating oh, girl let me tell you what I do. Okay, this is what I do. I make my rice, and I've gotten to the point to where I make my rice like the Latinos make it. I make it in a skillet and just steam it. Um, Africans and West Indies, we typically use a pot, but I use I do like the Latinos. So girl, maybe I'm a black Hispanic and I don't know it. So I use a skillet, and once it's done steaming and all that, I pour in like one fourth of a cup of unsweetened coconut milk. Oh, put a little bit of cilantro on top. Girl, I could eat the whole pan. If no one's watching, I would. All right, y'all. It's time to go to the appointment. Look, I didn't have any coffee today. I just decided not to. Sometimes, um, when you have something like anxiety, like I'm, I'm going through right now this year. This not this year, girl. Every other year, around this time of the year, I get seasonal seasonal you do to you know stuff and i do have a video coming up i think i'm gonna go ahead and edit that and post it in a couple more weeks y'all can't see me hold on but anyway girl i didn't have any coffee today because i sometimes i think that the caffeine could make it worse and yeah i did not have any coffee and so far i'm still feeling good um i need to go ahead and take my supplements and medicine uh besides that cbd oil let me check something real quick you guys i before we leave that place is only about 40 minutes away like but I, you never know, accents or whatever. Um, who was I going to look up? Okay, I just posted on YouTube. I really do love this new feature with YouTube where you can, as a content creator, where I can post either a poll, ask you guys questions, you guys can respond. I like that, being able to interact like that. Um, so I just posted whether or not you guys wanted me. I should have done a poll, but I didn't. I posted whether or not you guys wanted me to review this hair dryer. Um, let's see what the comments say. 
Okay, six comments. So let's see. Uh, yes, please. I've been looking at hair dryers, both heat and non-heat. You know what? You 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 doing the most. Maybe I could do heat and non-heat on. Maybe I can do that. Then my hair would be messed up. We'll see. Um, yes, please. Hire the comb attachments on 4C. Yes, please. Yes. All right, y'all. So I'll go ahead and do it. Um, you know what I'm thinking about? Our wedding anniversary. I know. It's not till next year. April. Well, it's like tax day or something. April 15th. I may recreate my entire wedding style. Put on my dress and everything, y'all. <laughs> like, seriously, I'm thinking about doing it. I've seen someone else do that, and I thought it was really cute. So, I'm thinking about recreating the hair, the makeup, that makeup slate, too. That makeup was really beautiful. I make up for uh, my wedding. But I will go ahead and recreate. Actually, that hair is what I'm recreating now this week. Girl, Vivian, get your each together. So, yeah, I haven't had any coffee, so I'm, but I am drinking peppermint uh, coffee, uh, peppermint tea. You know what? She has this big-ass blow-up, and the damn snowman is on his hands and knees with the butt up in the air. Yeah, I told you, my neighborhood be doing the most for the holidays. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about stopping by JB School and dropping him something off. You know, because sometimes you can have lunch with them, but I think that may make it worse. He, that may make it worse, so I'm not going to do that. So, yeah, like I said, it, it's just a phase, but I'm just, I'm just surprised. I'm surprised that even another parent was like, JV was crying? I said, yeah. He's like, JV's typically the one that's consoling other kids. I said, I know. You telling me? I know. He was like, wow, I wouldn't think he would cry. I'm like, thank you. I know. <laughs> Hey you guys, so I'm here at my doctor's appointment. I'm a little early. So we're gonna do like a little quick chit chat then. I mean, it's gonna be like less than 10 minutes, girl. Um, and I'll give you guys the timestamp so that way those of you who don't really care for my vlogs, you can get to the, you know, chit chat. Or maybe I'll put the chit chat before. So girl, let's talk real quick. Yeah, I got like eight minutes. Um, we wanna talk about what's going on in these YouTube streets. You know, TV I've been watching and just, if something random comes up in my head, we're gonna talk about it. <clears throat> so he's driving way too fast I should have got his license plates number girl what you gonna do with that I have been watching a little bit of just random people I haven't you know really watched in a while and I was watching a video from naturally fashionable who her and her husband have been living in Kuwait for a while and this video was hold on let me get some tea because my voice <clears throat> First of all, I like her because she is a no-nonsense and she was reading people in a very PC manner, in a very Southern hospitality. I'm shading you and you really don't know I'm really shading. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. The video was about Jill Scott, who was, um, those of you who don't know, Jill Scott is a well-known artist, music artist, um, what is it, Neo Soul, which I like some of Jill's music. And a, it's been a while now. A couple of weeks ago, Jill Scott was <clears throat> pretending to be performing oral sex on her microphone. So, uh, YouTuber Naturally Fashionable made a re, you know, basically talking about how war has class gone, you know, um, and that it was inappropriate for Jill Scott to have done this, being that she's a mother to a young child and she's an older woman. <clears throat> now, I do agree with her on a lot of talking points that she brought up. I really did. Now, I did not watch the whole video because they were dragging her in the comments. When I tell you they were dragging her, they were dragging her. But this is the thing, you guys. Most of the women who are making those comments are young girls. Young girls who probably don't even have children. Um, and not to say that you can't have a, a um, an opinion if you don't have any children, but your perspective on things, and this is coming from someone who felt like I could say anything about, you know, when I didn't have kids. Um, and it totally changes once you have a child and it makes you think, okay, maybe I should do it. And because quiet as it kept, sometimes I be wanting to do videos on a little rated R, uh, rated PG uh, X, but then I think about it. Okay, I am a mom. I also have to think about my brand. Um, that once you put something out there, it's out there. So do I? Is that a? Ref do I really want that to reflect me? 
okay? No, I don't. So we ain't gonna go there. We ain't gonna talk about anything. I think that our morals are out the door, you guys. I really do. Now, yes, people have talked about sex before because I saw someone made a comment. You know, this is nothing new. <clears throat> you know, look at Patti LaBelle's songs and, um, you know, Tina Turner's songs. They were talking about sex back then. But they were using what metaphors. It wasn't all out there. It wasn't, I don't think I ever saw Tina Turner using a microphone and pretending like it was a damn penis. Yeah, no, not on stage. No, but now, yes, there has been R&B artists doing stuff, stuff that are sexual in the 70s. Let's just put it out there. But um, that's what their concerts were known for. And I know that Jill Scott, she has some sexual explicit songs. But to do that at a concert... I don't know, y'all. First of all, quiet as the kept. She wasn't doing anything um, extraordinary to me. So I was like, okay, well, where's the... Well, where's, where's the magic at? I don't understand. You know, everyone's going crazy. I'm like, y'all. Do I think it was age appropriate? Uh, there are older women that have oral sex. So, yeah. But I'm not like a huge Jill Scott fan. And so I'm not a... You know what I mean, y'all? I'm not a fan enough to be offended by it. You know? So, anyway. Those of us who follow Justin J, we know by now that he has been diagnosed. Well, he revealed a couple of weeks ago that he is HIV positive. And you guys, I have heard, had a hate-love relationship with Justin. Um, and I've mentioned this before. I am subscribed to him. And um, and it's all, it's all, for me personally, with Justin and a lot of these controversial YouTubers when they go back and forth and bickering. But there was a point there where I felt a lot of people were ganging up on him. And I'm going to name drop. It was a James Carwell. It was Sean Bradley. It was, um, what is his name? One of the glasses. I don't, I'm not subscribed to him. Um, I felt like it was just a big ganging and it, I, I felt like it was bullying. And so I was a little sympathetic towards him I was like oh um but, and then I also see where he's come from and I've seen the growth so when I saw that video and he you know he was in good spirits and sometimes you have to smile through the pain you know and he said how he's going to use his platform this is what I am wishing from him and that what I would hope from other people who decide to use their YouTube channel blog whatever it be I hope that we get into this is how to prevent this Instead of, okay, this is what we do now. Because I think that's the real way to make a change is to prevent other people from actually contracting HIV or AIDS. You know, teach our young children, young adults on what not to do, what behavior we should avoid. You know, because it's, it's so much easier to now say, okay, now this is what I'm going to do now that I have this disease. You guys, and he may do that. He may, you know... um, like I say, use his, his channel to educate people on the things not to do. So it is really unfortunate. You know, yes, treatment is out there, but having a disease like that, I don't know anyone personally that has had HIV or AIDS, but from what I can tell from other people that have had it, it's not just, you know, taking your medication. It's like a overall health struggle. Um, and a lot of these um, immune suppressant diseases come with a plethora of symptoms oh gosh so yeah my heart goes out to him and I, I was so heartbroken when he but, and, but I was it was very courageous of him to have done that and I think regardless of where you stand on um, as far as what you view of Justin you have to admit that was very brave of him to have done that uh, I know there was rumors going around that well someone was about to out him regardless of that regardless of if he, he was on the verge of being outed it was still brave of him to come on cam and admit to that so you guys i'm about to go into my um doctor's appointment real quick and yeah i just want to say that besides that i'm catching up on the real housewives of atlanta i'm done i always say this every season but i'm done with candy using portia as her storyline i'm sick of portia I just can't believe that Portia is in her, well, she's in her late 30s, acting like she's 20-something years old. I mean, tat, getting matching tattoos with the um, hot dog guy, her, now her fiancé, who she's also pregnant by, and her mom, at got, Miss Diane is a geriatric thought. I'm sorry, I hate to talk about somebody mama like that, but she's pushing Portia into just having a baby and getting married. And I'm like, she's known this man for a few months. All right, y'all, um... I've been out of my doctor's appointment and now I'm just sitting up here. Girl, girl, a $50 copay just for her to tell me I need to start putting more lotion on my titties. Seriously. I know. I'm sorry, y'all. I have basically have eczema on my... 
Lord have mercy. So anyway, what was I talking about? Okay, so Real Housewives of Atlanta. I can't do it. It's gotten to a point to where I'm not even watching the full episode because I just... <sighs> I don't know. The only storyline I'm slightly interested in is um, Eva's. Is that how you pronounce her name? Eva? I did not know she was that old, y'all. Not She's not old, but she's only a year younger than me. She's 37. Why does she act so immature? She doesn't necessarily act immature, but she acts a lot younger than what she comes off. I thought she was in her late 20s, early 30s. You know? Girl, between her, uh, Miss Diane, Portia's mama, uh... I feel like, um, I feel like Candy, I feel like Candy's the type of person who doesn't really have, she doesn't have true friends. She knows a lot of people. She has a lot of ba business acquaintances, but I feel like she's the type of friend that can get on your damn nerves after a while because she's complaining about the same thing over and over. You either do something or you hush up. Like, I... She would be that annoying friend for me that I would love from a distance. You know, love from afar because you keep talking about... Because I can just see the expressions on when she was talking to Don Juan and Todd about Portia. I could see their expressions like, not again, girl. You you still talking about this? That's how they look to me. I had um, finished up with um, How to Get Away with Murder, girl. That fine Frank. I cannot wait for Walking Dead to see fine Frank. Uh, uh, the actor who plays Frank on How to Get Away with Murder is also on Fear of the Walking Dead. And I told you guys about that um, a couple of vlogs ago. Again, it's one of those shows where I'm always like this, you guys. There are certain shows that I do look, look at and that I watch from, like, seasons. And The Walking Dead was one of those that I was watching from season one. Then I stopped because I started having nightmares. But then I started back up. But this season is... Ever since Rick got flown away, I don't like this season that much. But, girl, I watched the last episode, and I was like, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because I'm like, the zombies are talking? Are the zombies talking? And it's not the zombies talking. It's another group of people wearing zombie skin or some shit. So, yeah, I can't really watch that anymore. So, there's really not too many shows that I'm watching. I did download BritBox. <laughs> I love me some British TV. Um, and I binge watch Vera, which is a very good crime show. I told you guys, the British does crime very well. But now I'm watching Vera. Someone uploaded the... Um, they uploaded the series or the seasons on YouTube. So that's for free. So yeah, you guys, not a lot on TV. Like I said, some of the YouTube videos I did catch up on. A lot of them I not. I do see quite a people, quite a few of people doing Vlogmas. Um, I really do like a natural hair for you. I believe that's her YouTube name. Um, I love the sister. She's very, I don't know how to put it. I, I can't put her in a box, and I like that. And I believe she's the type of person she doesn't want you to put. I can't categorize her channel or her personality for that, but she's very straightforward, transparent, and I do like that about her. Uh, some of the other people I was talking about, I had to unsubscribe for, and I'm going to name drop because this is who I am. Um, a Christy Mom for You, I had to unsubscribe from. And um, Olivia, with the Living with the Webs, I had to unsubscribe from them i'm not gonna go get into it just i'm not watching them what really ticks me off though not really ticks me off but you can unsubscribe from someone and then their videos still come up in their suggested or recommendations and i'm like what for so i'm not gonna do this so um christmas is around the corner what are y'all getting for me <laughs> So, look, I know I'm not. I know that I'm not the only person that buys himself something for Christmas. Girl, I already started. You hear me? I already started. Uh, one of the things I definitely want to get is a hair steamer. And once I do get the steamer, I will be officially reviewing it now. I am up to the point to where right now I am deep conditioning once a month. Um, with the steaming, I want to do that once a month. So, I will more than likely... When I do my deep conditioner, I will be steaming with it. Because the only time I've done a true steamer with, with an actual hooded steamer was when Miss Arlette did it. And let me tell you, my hair felt... Oh my gosh, you guys. My hair felt wonderful. And being out here in the area, it's ex extremely dry in Phoenix. Hence my, my dry titties. It's really dry here in Phoenix. So it really does help... If you have a steamer, I think it would help even if you're not in an area where there's um, dry climate. But be not in the desert. I live in a desert. Like, no, I live in the, it's called the Sonorian Desert. I mean, yeah, so yeah, I'm good, definitely going to buy me a hair steamer. I'm trying not to buy any makeup. However, I saw a LA Girls palette. 
And now I'm the type of person, why is that flag half mass? Oh, because of George Bush. Why did I think he was already dead, y'all? Like, so I, I knew that his wife passed away, but for some reason, I thought that George Bush Sr. had passed away a couple of weeks after that. I don't know why. I'm like, well, he been, what? Um, anyway, y'all, I'm sorry. The, the flag was half mast in front of me, so I was wondering why. And I'm understanding that they're going to postpone our mail tomorrow because of his death. I'm like, what? I'm waiting on my camera to get back. I mean, rest and peace and honor, glory to yeah. God. I'm like, you know, um, so much has changed when it comes to these holidays. And, you know, sometimes you guys, I know there's like a, a really big commercialization of it, especially here in the U.S. I mean, they start putting this stuff out. This year, they started putting the holiday stuff out in late August. And that is absolutely ridiculous. Um, and I've tried not to fall into the traps of all that. This is what I saw on Twitter I wanted to bring up. One of my neighbors has one of those old school, like, 80s nativity scenes. Like, the, the plastic ones. And with the wise men and Jesus and Mary. And I seriously want to go. Whenever I see that, I'm like, and they're all white. I don't know how I feel about this. You know, you have the, the old school nativity scenes and, every, you know, the wise men are all white. You know, nowadays, I will say nowadays, I've been seeing um, proper representation of the wise men being enough color. At least really, or at least one of them be a real chocolate girl. They, they make them real chocolate to make up for the other two tan ones. I try not to decorate with that type of stuff because I don't see it being a proper representation of the way things truly were i don't even now that i think about it i don't even go out my way to have anything with santa claus on it and for those of you who don't know there are other characters when it comes to uh christmas you know what i mean and what country is that where one of the characters is some short little black leprechaun named pete or something pete or patrick um, but yeah girl you got like black pete child when i first saw pictures of black people all those white people running around with black faces on i don't know what country that is in in europe but they have a character called black pete there's crumpets there's other character due to pagan ties that are tied to christmas which is why i try jb can take pictures with santa claus but i don't go out my way and be like oh let me get you these santa claus stuff girl no mm -mm, we ain't doing that now i'll be looking at the figurines I'm like, oh that black santa the black santa is cute but i'm not gonna buy it unless it's like 75 percent off even then i don't know so anyway y'all this is all over the place i know so we're gonna get back into the vlog but i want to put a chit chat in the in the middle of this okay hold on y'all let me see y'all i have to start eating better um i had a water burger yesterday i've been eating out a lot more which is not good i'm just I just real quick went back home just in case I need to go back inside. This is personal. Let me go to my work. Ooh, Deeper Than Hair just uploaded. Y'all, Deeper Than Hair, YouTuber Deeper Than Hair. She can slay some hair. Now, what, what the hell's going on? All right, y'all. Y'all, I felt, I was so good to um, hang out with my friend. And I, like I said in my last vlog, I really need to start doing that more often. Um, and if not do that, have some type of adult time, which quite frankly, I have been, you know, every two months I've been either having lunch with a friend or just having some adult time with other adults. Um, so yeah, that, that hasn't been a problem, but I guess my thing is that I need to hang out with my friends that are here more often, locally more often. Um, all right, so what was I gonna tell y'all? I completely got sidetracked and forgot I have an event. I didn't forget, but I haven't been preparing for the event that I'm gonna be vlogging this coming Sunday. And so Miss Erlet just sent out a reminder. She's like, get your get your phone charges, girl. You ain't got to tell me. Get your phone charges, get your business card. But why, y'all, I have or had two types of business cards. I have a business card that is, you know, for me being a beauty influencer i don't even like to say that youtuber i have that type of business card and then i had i'm sorry i'm trying not to judge people and judge young young people but this mom she has a little girl around jb's age and she is puffing on this cigarette like you are really not only are you doing yourself a disservice but your child my father quit smoking when he had kids it was hard but he did it Anyway, sorry. Yeah, my brain. That's how my brain works. Uh, so, I have two types of business cards. Let me put this up here and I have to run in, y'all. 
I have two types of business cards. I have my business card for when I was selling my hair, own hair oil. And I was also, at one point, I was trying, but no, don't nobody want to do this. I was trying to do um, natural hair consultations. I mean, I spent so much time creating a form, compiling lists. I mean, I literally spent months, months at least half a year on research for natural hair consultation but no one's going to do that because one there's so much free information out there why would you go to someone for a natural hair consultation and i know miss erlette tried and she's she has some ideas surrounding them i'm not gonna go into detail because she may not want that information out there but i did approach her and let her know that i think we should collab and do like a series of back to basics and um, back to basics deep conditioning, back to basics uh, detangling, and have her do my hair. <laughs> you know what I mean, y'all? But get very detailed, and it would be specifically for category four hair. Excuse me, y'all, I'm spitting. Category four hair. And this is Miss Arlette's passion. She loves hair. She's been doing hair for 25 years or something like that. Um, and it's, it's interesting coming from, she's someone who actually watch YouTube and watch YouTubers. Um, she sometimes comments on things that YouTubers do because those people don't have the knowledge when it comes to hair and texture. You know what I mean? Hey, y'all, I'm home now. Um, oh, thank God I have some bananas. I'm going to pour me some green juice. This green juice is sweet, so I dilute it with water. So this is going to be, let me see how I'm going to divide up these vlogs. So I've already uploaded two vlogs for y'all this week and I really, really don't feel like editing any more vlogs to load up for this week because I have two hair related videos to record, fam. And of course I have the event I'm gonna be going to and then we have a lot of stuff we're doing over the weekend that I'm gonna try to film a little bit there. So yeah, when you have a lot, it, editing is the hard part so I'm not gonna have time to edit. It's, edit is what I'm saying. On um, Saturday, karate was canceled. <laughs> the guy canceled karate lessons, which is fine. Um, but JB goes, I try to have him to go three times a week, but since he canceled yesterday, I mean, sorry, Saturday, he's going to go Thursday and Friday, which is tomorrow the next day. And I thank the Lord. His school sent on a, a notice that was basically like, we're going to be offering um, child care services during the winter break. I'm like, amen. So... I called same day and I was like, let me go ahead and sign my child up. So out of the two weeks, I just signed him up for four days because my husband's going to be off all that week. Um, I'm going to be taking off the week before two days and then into Christmas, those first two days I have off. But um, so I was trying to see if I could, you know, find some other parents to, to do a play date, but people have plans. And that's why I try to tell my husband, I'm like, again, it's, it's really doing you know, our family a disservice being away, so far away from our family back in Texas. Because typically around this time, you send your kids to the grandparents' house, right? So they go to the grandparents, so they have some type of family vacation. And my husband, you know, he's off for Christmas, but it's just JB and I for the next week and a half. And I'm like, it would be, it would be so nice to be next to my family because my mom is going to be off, you know. She usually takes off, you know, to be next to my family. I'm going to try not to be that way, y'all. Try not to think about that because I was starting to go down that path. Those of you who don't know, I don't live, we don't live anywhere near our family. Everybody is back in Texas, including my husband, who has a lot of family in Dallas. So we don't have any family here. No close, no close, close friends. You know, like I was saying earlier, I haven't seen some of my friends in four or five years. The only close friend I have that is almost family is Miss Wanda. I know she's going to be busy with her family and quiet as a gap. I don't like her sister. And she knows I don't like her sister. So we don't really, um, I don't reach out to her to do family type things around the holidays because I can't stand her sister. And I've gotten to the point to where I can't control this when you say some dumb ass shit in front of me. One thing I'm also going to do, you guys, like I had briefly mentioned, I'm having some issues with my laptop. These dang on computers, like honestly, these computers now have a shelf life. If, if do they have a shelf life? They only have a life of like five years. So you spend over a thousand dollars for sometimes less than that. My Dell, 
raggedy ass sale. My Dell, which cost $800, didn't even last me a year. That's a lot. It lasts me like 13, 14 months. This laptop I got in 2000, 2016 and the keyboard is dying. And so to have it looked at at Apple, it will be $100. And then to have it replaced, we're probably looking at around $300, $400 total to have the keyboard replaced. Now, I was reading that I could do it myself, you know, but the pain is that there's like 20 plus of those little bitty mini screwdrivers that you have to use. I'm not doing that. I don't want to have to deal with this laptop anymore. So I think one of the things I'm going to purchase with my income tax is an iPad. You can, because uh, I use my... I only use my laptop for editing videos. That is it. And hell, you can edit videos on an iPhone now as long as you um, record your your media on your phone. There's tons of people who record, edit, and upload on their iPhone. But I don't want to do that because I have some extra stuff I like to put in my videos. So my husband bought an iPad this year. He spent some coins though. He yeah, I just want a basic iPad with the keyboard, which should be no more than $500. He spent like $1,100 on his iPad. Hey y'all, this will be the last week where I'm vlogging on this old camera. Look, JB's like, that's my camera. I'm like, I know, baby. So, Canon has already shipped off my camera, so I should get it by Tuesday. And just a heads up, you guys, I'm doing a lot of vlogging now since I'm not doing vlogmas, technically. And I want to... I want to hold off till I get my camera to do my hair videos because it makes a big difference. I think I am going to push out that Chunky Twist video out though. Chunky Twist video because y'all been waiting on that for about a month. Um, oh, it's going to rain y'all. It's been raining here. It's Friday. It's Friday. And I'm ready to sway. You you going to get a backhand of the... <laughs> <laughs> Dropping JB off at school. Child, JB's going to be off for two I don't like y'all it's gonna be like 16 days straight yay it's beautiful let me see if I can zoom in this is what it looks like right now wish I could show the mountains but oh there's the mountains back there you can see that yeah yeah I didn't even want to upload y'all have to excuse the sun I just did a video on let me turn my camera my um car off girl I just uploaded a video on blowing out my hair. I was struggling on wanting to even upload that video. I like it so, girl. I'll, I'll go ahead and do this chunky twist on this old camera. Um, it's Friday, like I said. I have a one-on-one -on -one with my manager this morning. I'm still toying around whether or not I should go to the gym. Do I even have water on me? Um, tomorrow we're gonna take pictures with Santa, right, JB? Girl, look at this hair. You can't even. Can can y'all see it? All right, you guys, I got my sage in. <clears throat> Y'all thought I was kidding. <clears throat> got my sage in. <clears throat> Gosh, I really need the sage. Everything open. <laughs> you can see here. All the drawers, everything open. You want to make sure uh, everything's open, apparently. I, girl, did some research on this. I've seen people sage houses and stuff before. Um, even when they just bless houses. Not just, but blessing houses while reading the Bible. So everything's open. The front door will be open. I'm going to sage myself down, sage JB now. Again, make sure everything is open because energy can be trapped behind these closed doors, girl. So yeah, you guys, I know some of y'all thinking, that is crazy. No, this is something that people have been doing for hundreds of years. <clears throat> and as long as I feel like that, as long as I believe it in my heart and I declare it in the name of Jesus Christ, I am good, okay? Uh, let me go ahead and burn this and get this started, y'all. Wow, we were supposed to take pictures with Santa. That line is crazy. There's like, it has never been this many people here. small drains. JP, we're not looking at drains. So where are we gonna go? We, we need to go somewhere then. Got me a salad, you guys. Surprise, surprise. Look where we're at. JB got a silver dollar. Uh, a World War Navy vet stopped by. I guess he's handed these out during Christmas. Y'all, I told JB the only people who have these are old people. Anyone over 60 or 70. He said he was 92 and he gave JB a silver dollar. That reminds me of my childhood. We used to always get silver dollars, my sister and I. Woo, you guys, that was good. My salad was good. 
Um, we're right across the street. We're in Paradise Valley. We're right across the street from PV Mall, and this mall is dying. It's called a, it's a dying mall, is what they call them. Most malls in America are dying, but there's an actual YouTube video on this particular mall, and JB's actually been looking at it. So anyway, when I first moved here, this mall was the bomb mall, but they've been closing shops. I mean, the last time we went in there, um, a couple of months ago, there was hardly anyone in this mall and a lot of stores had closed. It is such a beautiful day. We decided to stop at this park. Um, they also have an outdoor, uh, an outdoor market. Look at those beautiful ducks. I think it's about 75 degrees right now. It's beautiful, y'all. Look, I try not to do, where is it? We're gonna go over to the outdoor market in a minute. Let's look at this lake. I didn't even know they had this. And they have fish in here? You can fish here? <sighs> Interesting. Look, they can, they, they, that pigeon, you need to stay about 20 feet away from us. Hold on, baby. No, we ain't going to that park. Uh-uh. You still gotta go to the, uh, if we go to that park, we're not going to, um, what's the name? We're just gonna, we're just gonna see it. You can see it from over here. It looks real nice. Well, I can't go Let's go over here to the, to the farmer's market. Yeah, I try to stay away from these, um, farmer markets because, there was someone who had a crush on me. Hey, hey, JB. This way, we're gonna cross this way. That's going out towards the street. There's, there was a guy who family owned a, and I need to be careful what I even say, cause you never know who be watching your videos, girl. Um, my queen, my queen, silver dollar. He was sweet on me. I think they're just not putting stuff out too. Or maybe they're putting stuff up, I don't know vegetables my word look at these collard greens this is what this is what collard greens supposed to look like look at look at this look at how big these are all right you guys that was interesting I'm letting JB run out child this is an open field so he's having fun can y'all even see me how about now that was interesting. And look, I saw the guy's father there. I didn't say anything. He doesn't know who I am. I'm pretty sure that's his father. Um, based on the pictures that I've seen of him. Yeah, that was his father. They own a, um, it's a food business, as I'm going to say. Like I said, you never know. The reason why I don't want to reveal a lot, you guys, because I know people who don't have as many subscribers as I do. And people in the valley who live here will start some drama. So I don't want to say much. Woo, have fun! <laughs>